click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello guys, in this particular video we will learn uh, the cascode amplifier with a different kind of transistor that is field effect transistors. Here we can use your j field that is junction field effect transistor, your MOSFET that is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor or depletion type or enhancement type MOSFET as well, right? So even if you take FET as a whole, you will get the same result even if you take uh, whether whether you are taking jpt or uh, whether you are taking the mosfet right so let us have a look at the particular circuit of cascode amplifier with fet <music> This particular circuit, in this particular circuit, uh, there can be many configurations as uh, depends on the application to application. I can draw n number of circuits uh, using this cascode with this cascode amplifier. So, according to the requirement, uh, I just have uh, represented these two configurations of this cascode amplifier where the this particular uh, mode is connected and it is called as your c e uh, i can say rather c s amplifier so here i can say that it's a c s mode where i can say the output is connected to the drain terminal of your transistor but this drain terminal is connected like let's say this drain terminal is acting as an output and that output is uh, giving as input for the second transistor that is acting as your uh, common gate configuration. So here I can say that iska namakaran kaise karenge CSCG mode, right? The multi-stage amplifier that we'll be getting that is CSCG amplifier, right? So in exam they may ask you what is CSCG amplifier. So don't get confused. That is nothing but the cascode amplifier only, but using different type of transistor that is CSCG amplifier. So let's see that the input is directly connected to the gate and here the gate is directly connected to the ground terminal and your output is having one resistor that is RD. So some, uh, some different sort of circuit here we are looking, uh, no gate resistors, right? Uh, as we have done the cascode amplifier with BJT with the where uh, your gate resistor, base resistance were there, but gate resistance is not there in the picture. So this is your uh, completely cascode amplifier with MOSFET I have drawn. You can consider this with JFET as well, same result you will be getting. Okay, so instead of ground, I can have the another source, right? That is at the emitter side that is called as the minus VSS. And instead of having plus VDD, I am directly connecting the output with load resistance RL. So with this particular configuration as well, I can say this is CS and this is CG configuration, right? If I add uh, particular resistances, then what will change? There will no change. There will not be any change in the significant change in the uh, output voltage that is required at the output node. So as far as DC analysis is concerned, it is a very simple uh, to learn that the DC analysis. So many a times there is no requirement of the gate term, gate uh, resistances and uh, your uh, gate side uh, biasing, but we generally required the drain side biasing either you can consider this with capacitor output capacitor and all along with your uh, load resistance only one resistance will get added nothing else so if we say this is your mosfet that is e type mosfet from the symbol itself where we are getting and uh, here it is grounded and i can say that this is bi here you can add the resistance that is this resistance RS, right? You can say in general we'll be having minus VSS as well as plus VDD, okay? What we will do, we generally apply the input KVL, right? So for input KVL, we will be getting, right? We will be getting 
there can be your dc supply or uh, your uh, ac supply generally we apply ac supply so you can i can say that uh, uh, to avoid the mixing between dc and ac i will place a capacitor in between right so if i place a capacitor in between then i can say that this capacitor will uh, separate out this input ac that is vi and i can say this this will form your uh, input kvl right so you will say that so this will be for this will form your vgs minus i uh, id into rs minus vss is equal to 0 minus of minus vss that is plus vss is equal to 0 so now i can say that this vgs is equal to uh, here it is minus vgs vgs is equal to vss minus id rs right so this is equation number one if i put this equation into your usual formula of uh, e mosfet if all values are given then i can say kn into vgs minus vtn the whole square right and i can say that yes this is how we will be getting the value of the id with the quadratic equation so I, here i will write only this step so get quadratic equation right get quadratic equation and find the value of id1 and id2 id1 and id2 out of this id1 and id2 select id right out of id1 and id2 so this is the next step that we are getting once we get id we get everything right so once we get id i know that this id is same as this id this id is same as this id so i can directly apply output kvl where i will get the value of vds1 and vds2 right so as i know that the value of this uh, vds1 and vds2 i will be getting from the output kvl so just apply the output kvl and we'll be getting the va value of vds right so here i will say the combined value of vds right that is nothing but vds1 plus vds2 so we'll say that apply kvl at output if i apply kvl at output then obviously we will be getting the value of vdd we'll start from vdd minus id in bracket rd plus rs because current will be same for all the uh, resistances then minus vds1 minus vds2 minus of minus that is plus v e uh, vss is equal to zero right simple calculation now i can say this is how we'll be getting vds is equal to vds1 plus vds2 that is equal to from this particular equation that is vdd plus vss minus id into rd plus rs cool that is equation number two here we have got the value of equation number one from uh, id right and here we are getting the value of uh, vds that is equation number two from that we can easily get the q point so q point will become your vds comma id id is common to both the transistors and vds is nothing but the addition of vds1 plus vds2 so here we have learned the dc analysis of cascode amplifier using fet in the next video we will learn the ac analysis thank you for watching this particular video in the next video we will learn the ac analysis so learn more and more edc2 with me with ikeda videos subscribe the channel ikeda videos thank you so much